What's up everybody? So today we're talking about my travel lighting kit. You know, there's many times whenever I'm traveling or if I'm just going downtown to film something that I want to bring the minimal amount of things that I can to get a really good look. And I always come across a problem where I can't achieve that if I don't have the right thing. So today we're going to talk about what's in this box and how it's made me have really nice looking things when I travel. Okay. Come on. 60 pounds. Come on, boy. We truly are bringing all the essentials that we need. All right, we're on a pivot. Okay, so every time I travel and I'm bringing a lighting kit, this is what I bring. This is just a standard old Pelican 620 case, and it's awesome. So, this is all custom made, custom built. I mean, of course, I didn't buy these inserts. I had to get the inserts. Come here, Kevin. I have only the essentials to get the best look here. And so what I have are three lights. I have a Aperture 120D, right here, Aperture 120D. No, sir, Ron. I have a Lightstorm 60X from Aperture. And then I have a NAND light 60, and it's a little small dude, the small slide in here. These are the only three lights that I have in this. Uh, please don't judge the cap on here. I'll turn it around. These are the only three lights and the rest of what I have in here is just electric kit. I have gaff tape, XLR cable, some more XLR cables, power, so I have extension cords, all the essentials that I need to power these guys. I have some barn doors that I use for sometimes the, the 120D or I can rig it up for this guy. And that's all I have. I mean, the other things that I have that's added are like some clamps. And one of the most special things that I have in here is this. It's just a black aluminum foil. I've talked about it before, but often if I were on a bigger shoot and I wanted to use this light and make a cool pattern on the background, I would use this. It's the Spotlight Zoom Mini. And you shoot it at the background and you can put cool patterns on it. It's an expensive way to make something look cool in the back. But you can do that really cheaply with a just black aluminum foil. Pippin really likes you right now. <laughs> Pippin, what are you doing, dude? But you can just punch holes in this black aluminum foil. You can put it on the front of your light and you can shoot light through it. And then you get cool patterns on the background. I hide this right here in the back. But in order to you know make sure that that aluminum foil stays on your light, it's always good to have some paper clips so you don't melt anything. Like if I were to put this on my light, I'm gonna probably melt the plastic off. So that's why I need some good paper clips. But this is what I keep inside of here. There's other things that I also bring with me that I typically put in my roller suitcase. And these are the essentials I need to, you know, put these lights on stands. I use this Matthews stand right here. Come on, baby. It's a little mini guy. I can even fit it in here, which I probably would make or try and do that. But it's a wonderful stand. You can hold about 15 pounds or even more, and it works really well. One thing that is just as important as quality of the lighting that you're doing is also the audio. And I always make sure to have a boom underneath my subject so I'm getting and capturing the best audio. I use a really small, two pieces of equipment this little this little guy right here i can put right on top of my stand and then i have my audio device that i can boom over my subject this is called film devices and i bought this not this but th these two pieces right here these two pieces are called film they're from film devices often these boom poles are just too like long and you can't fit them in your suitcase but this whoop, fits perfectly in my suitcase this is small enough or fits perfectly in my in my suitcase also 
and it's the perfect tool for booming your audio. So I highly recommend that. I have this wonderful travel tripod by Manfrotto that I use that's small, compact, I can put it on the side of my backpack if I want to. And then lastly, you know, what's important is you have these lights, but you need to diffuse your lights. You need to make sure that whenever you're shining a key light at someone, you get nice diffusion. So I'm gonna bring Magic Cloth with me. It's really compact, you can fit it right with your clothes. For a backup, you may never know if there's some harsh lighting that's coming through a window that you don't want, I have a shower curtain. And then I'm also bringing just a five times reflector and where if I want to black out, like what you see here over beneath my head, black out some harsh lighting or lights that are cause weird things on my face. All in all, this is what I have in my travel lighting case and I've made some really good looks out of this and I'm just super happy with it. So, <laughs> so I had these lights, but what do I use them for when, I'm, when I have them on set? Why did I pick these specifically? Well, I use the Aperture 120D. This is the first light that I've ever purchased. And this light is perfect for a key light. It's small, it's compact. The only downside for me is that it's daylight only. So sometimes you can go into a room that has harsh tungsten lights and it kind of, it's, it can be difficult to deal with. But this is my key light, I use this always. For a little bit, I was trying to find a light is what is another light that I could bring that's super small and can still be used in multiple ways. This Nanlite Forza 60 is what I often use for my hair light. To light the back of someone's uh, head or just for natural room feel of a room that might be too dark. And then lastly, you know, to really make your interview stand out apart. It's, the key light is important and making it natural is important, but sometimes it's the smallest little details in the background that make something look good. And this Aperture 60X is my accessory light. This is what I use to shine the background, to spot the spot something on the wall to make it stand out, to add a pattern, to just make it look better. This is the light. And this is why I use these three lights for my interview setups when I travel. Pippin, Pippin, give me a kiss this boy. Come on. <laughs> yeah, this is our first B-roll shot, it's Pippin. Pidge, I need your face. He does not like it. What do you think, boy? Maybe people are thinking that's gonna be gross, but you know what? I think it's kind of cute, boy. So thank you for watching this video. Really appreciate that you're watching. Hopefully this is helpful. I'm gonna try my best to leave down in the description of what these pieces of equipment are, but it's gonna be really hard for me to find everything. But like, subscribe, leave a comment. Appreciate you all. Peace. Whew.